Hey everybody, Reef Girl here, and welcome to my channel. One of the highlights of a recent trip to Chicago for Reefapalooza was the opportunity to visit the Shed Aquarium. The first place we saw was this Caribbean reef exhibit with 90,000 of the aquarium's 5 million gallons of water, fresh and salt. I suspect this diver doing cleanup did us a favor because the fish were very active. The shed opened in May of 1930, almost 90 years ago. Today, it contains over 32,000 specimens, representing approximately 1,500 species. In this video, I'm going to try and give you an idea of a tiny fraction of what I saw there. I've seen a few public aquariums, one on the island of Rhodes in Greece. It's an underwater grotto, pretty cool. The Vancouver Aquarium, which was very impressive, and Ripley's in Toronto a couple of times. And I have to say, as wonderful as those others were, the shed blew my mind. These guys obviously spend their whole day trying to decide who's boss. Here's something for you monster fish fans. Tetras by the thousands. The camera simply does not do this justice. After the Amazon Waters exhibit were all of these displays of huge invertebrates. I don't know about you, but for me, these guys are the stuff of nightmares. Giant deep ocean chitons. Check it out. There's my hand for comparison. And this guy did not like the close up. This is the Bering wolf fish. And I have to say, I saw species at this aquarium that I have never seen before. I do a lot of reading about fish species and I was amazed at what they have here. I could have stared at this tiny, perfect reef tank all day long. Well, I say tiny, but it was approximately four feet wide and six feet tall. There was a large school of blue-green chromis in here, and they were just kind of sitting there, not doing anything, not fighting, just maybe enjoying the flow. It was fascinating to watch. I spent a long time watching the fish in this tank, and the longer I watched, 
the more detail I saw. There were probably 30 species of fish in here. What you see on the glass is tiny snails. I'm not sure what type they were, but there were thousands of them. This is freshwater, Lake Malawi. Beautiful. When I first saw this, I thought it was kind of funny. And after I watched it for a little bit, I wondered if he was actually stuck. This was the beautiful entryway leading to the Oceanarium, an indoor open lagoon. Everything in this tank was non-photosynthetic. The theme for this tank was patterns. I probably spent well over an hour just standing beside it, observing the fish behavior and trying to get as much video as I could of all the various species. But there were just so many and it was just so beautiful. I finally just stepped back and watched. Someday, I want this in my house. Wait for it, here it comes. Finally, we come to the Pièce de Résistance Wild Reef. I almost didn't see this because at this point, we had been at the aquarium for several hours. My feet were killing me. I was starving and then we saw this little sign. So we decided to give it a look. Well. Talk about amazing. I can't say enough about this. And I'll show you some of the footage I got and just let you enjoy it. But first of all, I'll tell you about it. It was opened in 2003 and the whole thing is located two levels below the main part of the aquarium. It was designed to replicate a natural reef found in the Philippines at the Apple Island Marine Reserve. There are 525,000 gallons of water in this exhibit. 400,000 of those are in a shark tank and the rest is coral reef. That's almost 2 million liters of water in this display. The shark tank was a little dark and murky and it was hard to get much good footage. So I came over here and just took my time taking it all in.
Leaving the area of the Wild Reef main tank, there were a couple of other smaller tanks with unique and interesting creatures in them, such as these garden eels. And if you've ever wondered how big a cowfish can get, here you go. This guy was about a foot long. I'm pretty sure his name was Marvin. The final tank was full of mother colonies of corals that the aquarium is propagating. I love this place. Totally impressive. On the waterfront, well-kept, pristine, clean, gorgeous. I highly recommend visiting if you ever have an opportunity. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you.